All right, it's time to talk about cell organelles. <clears throat> so what is an organelle? It's a little tiny structure inside of a cell and it has a specific job or function. The cell membrane is a thin, very thin border barrier surrounding a cell. It controls what gets in, but also what gets out of a cell. I okay, want to keep the organelles and nutrients inside the cell, but we want to get rid of waste or anything that might be harmful. Cytoplasm is a clear gel-like fluid. It fills the space between the cell membrane and the organelles, and it helps to give the cell some shape. Okay? There are always things moving in and out of the cell membrane, nutrients, waste, gases, water. Things are always crossing the cell membrane. Here are two quick illustrations of cells. You can see the cytoplasm, various organelles, and the cell membrane. Here again, the cell membrane, the cytoplasm filling the cell, and various organelles. One usually found near the center and the largest organelle, the nucleus. A eukaryotic cell, that word eukaryotic, it means it has a nucleus. So you look inside of a eukaryotic cell, you'll find a nucleus as well as various other organelles. There are some organelles that are found in both plant and in animal cells. First one, which I just mentioned, the nucleus. The nucleus contains the DNA or genetic material. It controls many of the cell's activities and has often been referred to as the brain of the cell. Another important uh, organelle inside of a cell, but this one is very small, unlike the nucleus, which is very large, are ribosomes. Ribosomes are found as little dots, either on the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, or in the cytoplasm. The super important job of ribosomes are to make proteins. So things like hemoglobin and enzymes, as well as insulin, okay? Uh, proteins help our bodies function, actin and myosin help our muscle cells contract. Okay, without proteins, we wouldn't be able to do anything moving. Okay, so the nucleus, again, very large in the center of the cell, uh, can be considered the brain of the cell. Inside the nucleus is found another structure called the nucleolus. And the ribosomes, you can see them as tiny dots here on the ER or endoplasmic reticulum, but you can also see all around in the cytoplasm more of these ribosomes. So the endoplasmic reticulum, what is it? Well, it's found next to the nucleus, as you just saw, and in this picture you can see right here, and it processes substances like lipids and proteins. Proteins, if there are ribosomes present, lipids if they're not. The Golgi apparatus, which you can see here, but also here, um, is like the cell's warehouse or sometimes referred to as the post office. It packages and distributes proteins and other lipids and materials, everything else, and sends them around in the cell where they need to go. Okay, so it's like total warehouse, find it, package it, ship it up, send it off where it needs to go. Does it need to go in the cell? Is it something that needs to be exported? Do we just make a hormone and we need to send it out? Is this waste? Does this need to be removed? The Golgi is going to decide where it goes. Okay. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. There's rough, which has the ribosomes on it, and the smooth, which does not. Okay. And then the Golgi body, Golgi apparatus, is what is primarily going to modify, also package, and decide where it goes. Okay, so then we have vacuoles. Vacuoles are sac-like organelles of various sizes, and they store food, water, other materials for the cell. Sometimes it's storing waste until it can get out of the cell. And then mitochondria, or one mitochondria is called a mitochondrion. And mitochondria convert energy from food to energy the cell can use. And that kind of energy the cell can use is called ATP. So for that reason, mitochondria are referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. They produce ATP, that energy the cell can actually use. All right, so we mentioned vacuole. The difference between animal 
cells and plant cells into a vacuole is a plant cell tends to have a very large vacuole. It's called push against that cell wall and keep the structure of the plant cell. Animal cells tend to have smaller, um, more numerous vacuoles. And again, the mitochondria, a bean-like structure, is considered the powerhouse of the cell for producing the energy or ATP. Okay, now the organelles that are found only in animal cells. One we're going to focus on in this lesson, and that's a lysosome. A lysosome is like a recycling center or a site of digestion. It breaks down large food particles, old cell parts, sometimes bacteria if it's in a white blood cell. And the important thing is that it doesn't just get rid of it. Once it breaks it down, it recycles and reuses all the things that the cell could um, make use of again. And this is important in terms of conserving energy and not being wasteful. A structure that is found only in a plant cell, one example is a cell wall. And that is a very rigid supporting layer around the outside of a plant cell. It's made of cellulose and it really gives the plant cell structure and support in a way that animal cells do not have. Okay, a chloroplast. A chloroplast has a job of capturing energy from the sun and changing it into energy plants can use to make food, sugar, or glucose. So plants, they take the energy from the sun and convert it into chemical energy that's stored in the bonds of glucose. And then that energy can be used when it's needed by plants or by animals. But we need the plants in chloroplasts to store that energy in terms of glucose. All right, so the cell wall, again, is outside the cell membrane in a plant cell and helps to support it. All cells are going to have the cell membrane, but only plant cells are going to have the cell wall. And then chloroplasts. Here you can see the cell wall, then further in the cell membrane. Then you see the cytoplasm. The chloroplasts are also what's going to give the plant cells their greenish color. So some review questions. What is the cell wall made of? Do you remember? Cellulose. Only in plant cells, remember? Do you know why cells need water and oxygen? Well, the water and oxygen help cells break down nutrients and get energy. Okay. What organ in the human body is the nucleus like? Remember? the brain. Why do plants have a cell wall? Do you remember? To protect and support the cell. It helps the cell keep its shape even when the amount of available water changes. What organelle do animal cells have that plant cells do not? Do you remember? Lysosome. What two structures do plant cells have that animal cells do not? Do you remember? Cell wall and chloroplasts. Why is the nucleus called the control center for the brain? Why? Well, it contains the genetic material or DNA, and this is used to make proteins and control really everything that's going on inside the cell. And what will happen to a plant cell if it doesn't get enough water? Well, the vacuoles and the cytoplasm will start to shrink as the cell is losing water. And if a plant doesn't get enough water for too long, it will start to wither, wilt, and eventually can die.